Hello to Lord Coyote. This is the Raven House Mystery, broadcasting from the Raven House of Mysterious Happenings. <laughs> well, I was going to send you a uh, comic book review via email, but I thought, you know, this one's actually pretty exciting, and I figured it'd be better to do it via video. So, uh, here we go. Justice League of America, issue number 48. Now, this comic, of course, is the finale to the JLA-JSA crossover event called The Dark Things, uh, where in this storyline, Alan Scott had just been uh, corrupted by the uh, Starheart, which, of course, is the source of his uh, power. Uh, it's kind of turned him evil and twisted and it caused a little bit of concern for me because I really liked Alan Scott as a hero and I wasn't sure where this story was going but as it turned out uh, the Starheart itself was pretty much doing all the bad things and Alan Scott was trying to fight back and regain control over it and of course with the help of the other heroes and especially his daughter Jade uh, Alan Scott was able to regain control over the Starheart and get it back uh, under his control so he could wield the uh, Green Lantern Ring once again. And on this two-page spread, you can see that uh, Alan Scott has regained control of the Starheart and he's pretty much back to normal. It's uh, some really nice, uh, nice artwork they did and it was, just, it was just really good to see Alan Scott uh, back to his old self again. Well, that's about it for this review. Uh, Alan Scott fans can rejoice. Uh, the old Golden Age Green Lantern is back to his old self again. And uh, It was a great issue. I enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. and uh, I'm really happy the way the whole storyline kind of resolved itself. It was, it was great. It was a fun read. <laughs>